five Volkswagen transporter upgrades that you didn't know you needed. My CV45. If you are a watcher of the channel and you are sat there thinking to yourself, what is with this guy with the five of this and the five of that, five mistakes, five tips? Well, I did try it with six and it just isn't the same. Six Volkswagen transporter upgrades that you didn't know you needed. Six, six, six Volkswagen transporter, yeah, no. Number one on the list, and it is the Sounds Like a Golf door seals. So there are a few videos flying around on YouTube featuring these Sounds Like a Golf door seals. Now these are actually from Transporter HQ. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, not paid. Purchased with my own money. These are upgrades that I actually wanted to do to my van and I paid with my hard earned money. Let's take it away. We are going to start by cleaning the door. Now yesterday, I actually cleaned the van with soap and bubbles, that kind of thing to remove the real excess dirt. And the reason I did it yesterday was because now today it's lovely and dry. I'm now using some brake cleaner that comes in a can. And what we're gonna do with that is give the area a real good clean. So it was washed, but it's not really clean. You can use alcohol, solvents, whatever you choose. Get that lovely and clean, giving that 3M tape the best chance possible to really, really adhere. So we do get some instructions in the pack. You are creating this L shape. Nothing goes across the top and nothing goes down the hinge side. You are literally gonna start from the top here in this door crease, there's almost like a rail that it would sit in. It's very, very obvious. We cut it nice and tight here, do a fresh cut at the top so it's nice and sharp, and then we stick it down that line. And as that line goes down, cue the B-roll, it will actually follow a press in the door. So once that door is lovely and clean and free of debris, like I said, I like to start off with a nice sharp cut. Our starting position is just at the top there. And I'm gonna peel and stick as I go. You don't want to pull it. Don't put it under any force or any stretch because in time, all it will try to do is contract back and it'll probably end up pinging off. You want it to sit nice and natural, take it nice and easy, make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and then push it home. So here we go. You want to do a section and then every couple of inches just press it down to begin with, almost like spot welding it with, with its own sticky tape. See I'm laying a section on and then every couple of inches just giving it a prod and then once I'm happy that that section's okay, you can go back and push it all home like that. This is the finishing point here, just while it curves in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it somewhere close like that. I'm gonna use my thumb as a marker, reach for the scissors, nice and sharp. So there it is, sounds like a golf, door seals. Do you need them? Probably not. Do they make your life a little bit better? Hopefully, they should do. Do they sound like a golf? I have no idea, because if I'm truthful with you, every Volkswagen Golf currently in the UK is in the outside lane of the motorway, pressurizing people to pull into the middle lane. It's been a while since I've heard of Volkswagen Golf door slam, but what I will say is I always thought the Volkswagen Transporter was quite a smooth drive on the motorway. I'm always listening to noise, whether or not it be podcasts, books, music, talking to someone on the telephone. It wasn't until I was on a motorway journey with my partner and she was on the phone, I turned the radio down for on her behalf. I realized then how noisy it can be on the motorway if the wind is getting in through those doors. So hopefully this will make a difference and it's just for the cost, it makes your ride so much more smooth.
Number two on the list of five things that you didn't know you needed for your Volkswagen Transporter, and it is a windscreen rubbish collector thing, rubber. Probably parking tickets, you know, parking uh, parking payment slips when you put them on your dashboard and they just slide down and they're gone forever. Then you have to pay for parking twice. Ah, that's what this stops. And it probably tidies it up and looks a bit good. Let's go throw it in there. Ugh, let me see. All oh, right, I get it. That's actually quite half decent to look at as well. It kind of... You just push it in place. I'm using a screwdriver because I've got one in my pocket. When it gets close to the end, once again, sharp pair of scissors. I'm just gonna cut mine at a tiny bit of an angle because there's a little bit of trim down there, which is shaped. Ah, yeah, that is. And that's it, that was seconds. That's such nonsense. I would never throw my keys up there like a barbarian and your keys would never fall down there. Do you need that? Probably not. Does it make your life a little bit better? Yes. For the money, in a bundle, I think the door seals and that seal there to stop stuff going down through your dashboard into the abyss was under 25 quid. What can you get for under 25 quid? Not a lot. That is actually really worth it. Links to all these products down below. Once again, not sponsored yet. Number three on the list, these little babies. Yes, 3D printed, nothing too special about them. Little HQ emblem there on the inside. To be honest, guys, you could have put that on the outside. That would look pretty cool. People would like that. But simple as they are, these actually are mega effective. I've got the two plus one seats, but I leave the plus one in my garage collecting dust 99% of the time. That allows me more space on the inside, space for a power bank, just more extra space. I don't need all of those seats all of the time. So these actually cap off that Fitman rail. I'll take you for a look. So this is the two plus one with the one removed. At the moment, as you can see, it's filling up with Milky Bar wrappers. I think there's a Smarty in that one. There's a little trim clip from a different job in there absolutely lovely it wasn't too long ago that i actually cleaned all of this that's how dirty day vans can get so these little bad boys basically they there is an orientation it's very very simple that bar locks in across the bar that's in the fitment rail and they pop in like that totally plug in the gap looks absolutely awesome will stop my boy sticking his foot in there and tripping over Absolutely great, totally worth the money. Link in the description down below. Awesome. Do you need that? No. Does it make your life better? Yes. Number four on the list. The next item on the list is the side step for the sliding door. This item is actually from Vanex. I've got no doubt in my mind that Transporter HQ probably sells something like this. It just so happens that I ordered it from somewhere else. That's absolutely fine. This is the extended height, 30 mil, to allow for the rubber matting. But in addition to that, because I've gone for the two plus one seats, the step is shortened, not just like a trades van, where that's full length, and I've got this little pocket here. In my wisdom, this little pocket is for the previous item on the list when they're not in use. That might be a little bit silly, that might be a little bit cheesy, but I have been known to lose a few things. So that for me is totally ideal. So this little storage pocket is absolutely awesome. Um, like you just saw me remove it with a screwdriver, there are a couple of bugbears that I don't actually like about it. Um, one is the fitment. So when I've put that in there, I've previously leaned on that and it's misshapen, misshapen a little bit. Um, and yeah. As previously stated, removing that now without a hand tool is pretty difficult. So, I mean, I've always got one of these in my pocket, but that's not really the point. The only way to remove that is to get something in there and pop it open. And are you going to make damage eventually? Is that eventually going to 
not start to appreciate you doing that. There is a couple of slots there, but it's the same thing. You need to literally wedge that open, but it does look good. It's cheap enough. Fitment is nice and easy. Exactly how you remove the other one. The other one lifts up on poppers. This one lifts back down once you've laid your floor down, if that's the kind of thing you're gonna do. So that is the Van X sidestep with storage. Once again, make sure you get the correct height. If you've bought a cargo van and it's just plied out and it's got a real horrible beat up step and you wanna change that out for something looking fresh, because that's what I did, just make sure you know what's going on the floor Otherwise your floor will actually be higher than the step and it'll look ugly. Make sure you do your research and pick the correct side step. But that now, as an entrance to a van, I think looks pretty fresh. It's all blacked out, it's all moody. I love the Avano stuff, by the way, videos coming on that. But this is the side step with these little pockets hiding the rails with the factory seats. Lots of junk, don't get me wrong. Lots of YouTuber stuff, but that is now when you open the door once that's cleaned as well it honestly it looks lovely number five on the list and it is the interior cab light this is almost candle light this is totally horrible so we're going to swap these out for leds quite simple put your prizing tool in there pop this off and switch them out let's go so to remove this guys all we need to do is get our little prizing tool we're going to prize this and as the lens opens up a bit we get our fingers in there and it literally just pulls off. I am struggling for a decent angle to show you guys and achieve the fitting at the same time. But basically, you get a wedge in there, enough so you can get your fingers under the lens and it just pulls off like that. Now the lights are like for like, so if I just reach up in there and pull it out. Standard incandescent candle light in exchange for this little fella. And then the center light is this wider one. You can buy this wider one on its own. I definitely didn't do that by accident. I think it would annoy me that one was super bright and one on the other side was dull. So that should be, hey. Let's just put the diffuser back on. There we go. Check them out. So I've got to tell you, these LED cab lights are not a lot of money. They barely took one minute to install and the outcome is just, that's just awesome. Do you need that? No. Is it totally awesome for the time and the money? Yes. Do you need any of the items on the five items that you didn't know you needed for the Volkswagen Transporter? No, should you get them? Probably, definitely, maybe, I don't know. You decide, what I will say is every time you add a little bit to your van and you make it that tiny little bit better, one day you will sit back and look at it and think that is awesome. And that is the point. Each little thing makes it that tiny bit better than it was before. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and I'll see you next Tuesday.